What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Origins video on my channel. Today we are doing some really fun stuff with uh, some new updates that came out with Assassin's Creed Origins. One being the amazing, outstanding return of Bath Towel Bike that uh, is very benefited by a new DLC pack that I am currently using, the Wacky Pack, which we're going to get into in a second. But the first few things that I wanted to cover is that uh, they added a few new side quests that we're going to be getting into today, and I'm really excited for them, um, because, uh, there's some stuff that I've been waiting for for a long time in this game since its, uh, release, and I think you guys are going to be really excited to see it as well. But, before we get into that, I want to show you guys the Wacky Pack. So, as you can tell, the return of Bath Tal Bayek is upon us. He is back in full effect in ancient Egypt. The people are going to have to deal with him, as they've, uh, done before, although it, it did not go very well for him in the, in the past, uh, he may have gotten buried in the sand uh, somewhere in the desert before. But that's besides the point. He's back in full effect and no one's going to stop him. But before we get into Bath Tal Bayek's whole thing, we need to get his arsenal upped up. Which we have already done and we are wearing and using today. So, as you can see here, in our gear, we have some new weapons that um, are very exclusive because... They're, they're pay to win, and you have to you have to purchase them on the microtransaction store. But that's besides the point. We don't talk about that. The first thing here is the Cupid's bow. Very, very unique and very weird to have in this game. And uh, it's part of the Wacky Pack DLC. So as you can see, it's a very good bow. It's one of the best uh, light bows in the game. Uh, right next to the comp composite bow. And uh, as you can see, it's got a very uh, high rate of fire, good critical hit rate, or really good critical hit rate, actually, and an extra arrow, which is really nice. So it's really nice, really good uh, Cupid's arrow bow, light bow that we're going to be using today. And if you shoot it in the air, you can see it has some little hearts. Look at those beautiful hearts there. Isn't that just... Isn't that just lovely? It's quite amazing, I'd say. So we have that. That's one of the new weapons from this DLC. And then... <laughs> We're gonna get into some wacky stuff, real wacky stuff. The first thing here is the Swordfish Regular Sword. It is a cursed weapon, might I add, which is very, very tricky to use because you get only a third of your health bar sacrificed for double the damage uh, of all your weapons, which is very good, but we'll see that it might not be very useful to some of the side quests we're about to do here in this video. But uh, it is a uh, critical hit rate of only one, which isn't very good, but it has a very good adrenaline on kill, which is also very useful. But obviously it's a fucking, it's a swordfish. It's just, it's just, wait, oh, that's the wrong weapon. You don't see that yet. This It's just a weird weapon to have in this game. <laughs> I don't think there's swordfish in Egypt at all. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. Next weapon here is the Cotton Schwab Legendary Scepter. <laughs> Which is just so random. I don't even know if they used Cotton Schwabs back in ancient Egypt. Uh, maybe somebody was doing it on the side before they became popular. But <laughs> as you can see, you are the Fluffinator. Combo multiplier of 3, adrenaline on kill 3, and health on hit, which is also very good. The final, actually, weapon of this DLC is something that's uh, pretty awesome. It's called the Lolcat. As you can see, it's a legendary heavy blunt. It's very important that you understand that the work we do here is absolutely serious. Not fun. No fun allowed, alright? None at all. Same thing as the last one, no, uh, health on kill. It's got a pretty low critical hit rate, but it has a very high adrenaline on, on kill, so crazy weapons we got going here for real this one's really good it's literally um if you guys didn't know from the original bath towel bike video um we we went to a uh cat tomb which uh obviously the ancient egyptians really worship their cats like i do myself my kitties are actually laying on my bed behind me right now and the piece de resistance is the one the only unicorn camel <laughs> AKA the Unicamel, alright you guys? This is probably the highlight of this DLC. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy with this. It's probably my new favorite mount right next to the Nightmare Pack's uh, flaming mount. So uh, it's pretty, pretty beautiful, I'd say. So uh, that's the whole pack. We're gonna start using it. Um, it also has a little like rainbow trail, which is great. Get on my face, boy! Try to fight! Let's go! I missed. Oh, I also wanted to let you guys know, I actually have a really nice uh, Assassin's Creed Origins hoodie that you can wear right here. I mean, I, I'm wearing right here. And uh, it has Senu right here, which is awesome. And we just saw Senu in action. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. But uh, we're going to get into some side quests right now because that's what this video I think is going to be about. We're going to test out this uh, new armor and uh, get Bath Tal Bayek back into shape because he's been on hiatus for a little while. Yo, chill, bro. All right. I, I see you. I see you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, bro. What's up? 
Yeah, son, what's up? We ain't having this swordfish. <laughs> oh, man. Be gone, thoughts. Be gone. My unicamel is unmatched. All right, you guys. We are now approaching the really cool side quest that I'm really looking forward to right now. That just recently came out onto the uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. And uh, if you didn't know, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil too much about it. But it is a collab between another very popular game that is on Xbox. So, uh... Before we get into this, I, I did actually, I'm going to let you guys right, know right now, we did swap our weapon um, from the swordfish to the lolcat, just because uh, we might be entering some type of cave here. I've got a good idea, or good feeling, so I didn't want to have uh, a third of my health because snakes do uh, one bar of damage, so I would get, get insta-killed if I get hit by snakes. So, let's get into this. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be interesting. Oh, snap! Bro, was that like a meteorite? What in the hell? Have they sent a message from the sky? It's as if Ra has descended upon us. Ooh. This is very interesting. Let's get into this. Yeet! So, that's, that's almost like the hallucination that you get a lot of the time in the desert. Where you see uh, shooting stars. Oh my god. It's like a bunch of them right now. Like that, yeah. It looks just like that. But that was actually like a shooting star that like like landed. That was like a meteorite. That's crazy. I'm really curious to see what this is going to be. Oh, snap. That looks crazy. Does nobody else see this? Am I the only one that's going to investigate this? I. Right. Bayek's not afraid. Fast tell Bayek's ready for it. Okay, I'm a little afraid. What is this? Bro, it's like an egg almost. I'm scared. The fireball has revealed an entrance to this tomb. Ooh. This is a sign from the gods. That's, it's always a sign from the gods, isn't it, Bathtal Bike? Come on, bro. A large stone glowing blue that fell to earth from the sky. All right. Well, it does look like we're going to be exploring a tomb, so this is a great, great pick here. Let's do this. All right. I got my, uh, my little cat on right now. Oh, this, this is looking interesting for sure. 15. That's Roman numeral for 15 right there. If that doesn't give it away, I don't know what will. This be referring to a sundial. I wonder. This number seems important. Fifteen. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Solve the sundial puzzle. So we got ourselves a little mystery to, to solve here. Oh, exploration area. Okay. We're gonna have to explore here. I see. I see uh, some arrows here, which means we might need to shoot some stuff. Okay. I'm already seeing a little bit of stuff here. I see some blue stuff over here. This looks very related, actually. This must be the sundial. That This is very interesting. We're gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so I see a lot of uh, black top, like, looks like fire could be on those. Maybe I have to. Hello? Did I do something? Wait. Do I have a. No, the... <laughs> I thought it was fire, but it was just my Cupid arrows. Okay! <laughs> see, I told you guys there was crystals here. Jesus! Okay, I've been trying a bunch of different stuff, alright, you guys, and I've just now figured it out. I promised myself I would not look this up, and uh, I think we finally just figured it out. There's crystals here, and I think I have to do something with the crystals. I was trying to shoot the fucking pillars here at, like, different times a day, and, like, different... I'm just not even gonna go into it, dude. God, okay, let's just start shooting these things. It seems to be working. Oh. Okay. That does something. Is there another? Oh, there's one. Oh! What was that? How did I do that, actually? That That is the order, right? The, there's three pillars? I don't even know. There's... Is there numbers on the... Okay. Bara. What have I done? I should check that. Yeah. This looks really cool at nighttime, by the way. Wow, this looks crazy. So, wait. There was like numbers on those. Did, did that like add up to 15? Or did is it just the the, the things I did? Because I hit them like two times, right? It either was like the uh, number 15 or is it, it was because I um I hit those three, like the pillars in the in the in the pyramid in the tomb set. But we'll see. It's fine. We figured it out, I guess. It took me so long. I'm not even I'm sure I edited it down, but let's just not even talk about it. Oh shit, this got way bigger than it was before. <laughs> Yeah, this shit opened. Oh my god. 
Okay, bathtub bike, you you killing it? You killing it? This looks cool. This reminds me a lot of the uh, the crazy tombs in the uh, the main story. We are walking very slow. Who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead. What a journey I have made. The things I have seen. I am but one of you. This looks scary. I am afraid right now. There's like a, a, a shadow guy here. This is about to be bad. Oh god! Bathtub bike is not ready for what's about to happen, I don't think. Neither am I. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, now, holy crap! Those are cool looking weapons. Holy crap! Damn, and we got a mount Quay or Quay Quay Zerdrick and something else. Wow, you guys, that was awesome. So, what is this weapon now? Holy crap! And we got a new shield. Dude, this is so sick. Let me check this stuff out. Wow, it's a really good shield or a really good sword, too. That's that's one of the highest damages too. That's awesome. And if you guys did not get it yet by now, this is a Final Fantasy 15 and the Assassin's Creed Origins crossover. They did this a while back on Final Fantasy 15's game where they had a whole Assassin's Creed event going on. So now it was Assassin's Creed Origins turn to uh, to make the cameos for Final Fantasy. So it's really cool. I'm really happy to do this kind of, this kind of stuff. I've done I played a little bit of Final Fantasy 15 um, before, not 15, uh, Final Fantasy the series before. And I have a lot of fun with it. And we got a new mount. I guess we'll try the new mount out, right? Look at that. That's a cool little mount. I like it. Is it? Is that meant to be a camel? I think it's a camel with uh, the like skin of that <laughs> bird on it. That's really cool. All right, you guys. Now we're going to do the final side quest of the video. This might be a really long video, but uh, this is a side quest I want to do for a long time. It's been in the game for a little bit longer than this one has. But uh, I'm going to see you guys when we get there. Let's get it. All right, you guys. To wrap this video up, we are going to be doing this final side quest that um, has been promised to us from the beginning of the game. Uh, they promised this would be coming out later in the game to all players for free, and it is the is horde mode of the, uh, the gladiator arena. And if you, you will answer for it. oh god, if you guys didn't know, I did 100% the game, so I've done all the boss battles in uh, Cyrene and uh, the Hippodrome. I think you know, it's not the Hippodrome. What is it called? See, I, I think it's the, I don't even remember what the last one was. Cyrene and the other place. Oh hi, kitty. Hello, kitty. Oh, it's a boy, it's a boy, it's a boy. Oh, it's a go kitties. Where do you oh, think we are? Kitties. There are no oh, mercenaries here. All right, wait. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. I'm ready. Hey, what has this man done to deserve such abuse? He fled like a rank coward, leaving my gladiators to be taken captive. Gladiators? Can't they protect themselves? They were sleeping. A Gideon here was meant to keep watch. Kosei and Wamu Kota, my two best gladiators. We were on our way to the arena and were ambushed by bandits. I managed to escape. You damn coward! I will get your damn. gladiators back. Hey, but leave this poor man alone. When you find my men, bring them to the Cyrene Arena right away. We were attacked. Here comes a new challenger. Here. Near a wooden bridge on the road to Cyrene. All right. So we're gonna go rescue these two uh, gladiators here. I don't know. Is this guy gonna come with me or? I'm not sure. I think I'm going alone, actually. Dude, I've been swinging this sword along my journey here to this uh, area. And it is so, so cool. It has such a cool, like, sound effect and animation. It's got to be one of the cool swords in the game by far. It's so cool to add this in. I like it so much. All right, let's go to Senu here. Let's see where they're at. 
We're gonna have to go rescue these fools, so they're just probably chilling. Alright, let's do this. Little bitch! Wait, he faked his own abduction? He appears to be dry. Yeet! I will get him out of here. Okay, so the ladder may know where his partner went. Wait, I'm so confused. He said he faked his own abduction? I'll just fucking take this guy out of here. Let's go, bud. <laughs> Alright, yo, let's use the heavy blunt this time. Our little low cat. Come here, boy. Little thought looking ass. Yeet! <laughs> You're not dead? Okay. Understandable. Man, it got so dark on my face cam, I just realized. <laughs> We were doing that friggin' puzzle for way longer than we should have. Gideo sent me to find you. Can you walk? I'll try. Your name is Wamukota, yes? I found a letter from Kose. <coughs> that bastard! I can't believe he set up a trap. Is that Gideo all right? He is fine. He is with your owner at Cyrene Arena, if you want to join them. Do you know where Kose went? The bandit said something about a lake in the mountain to the north. You should go get some rest. I will find Kose. Be careful, friend. Kose is very strong. Yeah. Okay. So this guy totally did freaking F us up here. He, he literally... He freaking uh, betrayed his uh, gladiator guy, dude. So we gotta go confront this fool. Let's get it. Where's my man's at? I'm about to beat your ass, boy. You betrayer looking ass. I'm about to beat you with a cotton swab. <laughs> A child oh, we can be right here. This is not a good sign. <laughs> What's up? Hello, little one. What are you doing here? I'm not little. I'm five years old. Understandable. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Bayek. What is yours? To your Debated! Ow! I'm not here to fight you, Kose. I'm done with all of it. You'll be the last man I kill. Hold on. Calm down. Ouchie. You won't listen, will you? He does so much damage. Let's go, bitch. What's up? You're Trying to bait me with little five-year-old children? That's fucked up. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Yeet. Fuck it. Ah! Ah! Little bitch. Kose looking ass. Oh, he's low now. I was about to fucking murder his ass. <laughs> it has been a difficult journey. Wamukota told me what happened. I'm glad he's safe. I didn't want him to get hurt. Why fake your own abduction? Could you not buy your freedom from Thanasis? I tried, but he refused. As his best gladiator, I can bring him fame beyond price. Stay with your family, Kose. I will deal with Thanasis. You are truly sent by nice. the gods. All right, I'm glad we could work that out. I, I didn't want to have to kill them anyways. I mean, I was going to, but... Sweet, let's go fucking kill this guy now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> let's get it. All right, here's the guy. Let's get it. Oh, there you are. Where are my gladiators? They will not come. Omukoto is wounded, and Kose has declared his freedom. What? I own Kose. I say whether he is free or not. He is gone. Nah, bitch. I advise you find other fighters. Now, that is an idea. I have a deal for you. You fight for me. Win, and I'll give you that, and sign formally for Kose's freedom. I like your style. Enter the arena and win. Make me proud. Just remember, I do not work for you. I'll take it. Okay, enter Cyrene's arena and select horde mode. Survive five rounds of the horde mode tournament. Sweet, I'm down. Let's get it. I, w I was planning on killing this fool, but obviously this is a, a better alternative because I, I was going to do this mode anyway. So let's get it. I'm, I'm down. All right. So as you guys can see here, we did all the arena events. We did all the arena elite events. And now we got the arena horde mode, which should be extremely fun. I'm excited for this. Hope you guys are as well. I don't know exactly how the weapons work. I don't know if it's my own weapons or if it's the weapons they select for me. We're going to find out though right now. I think it's my own weapons. It looks like I'm carrying my own weapons. That's really cool. Let's get it. Whoa, wait. I'm so high up. This area looks crazy. Am I going to be able to stand on top here and fight people or no? The gladiator enters the arena. Oh, no, I think I do have to jump down. 
Shit. Wave one. I'm going down. Let's get it. I'm ready. Bring it on. I'm going to use a sword. We need a better weapon, so we're going to do this. Oh, God. It's going to get intense, dude. Oh, God. It, they didn't let me freaking swing or do my chain attack. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's happening? Understandable. Little bitch. Oh. Uh. Wave one of five complete. That was really easy. The first round was really easy. Owie. Stop. You thought. There we go. That's what I like to see. Bitch. So far we're doing pretty good, I'd say. I wonder if there's animals in this one like there was in the uh, normal arena. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing over here? You hiding from me? You hiding, motherfucker? I'm about to beat y'all with a cotton swab now this round. Let's go. Ooh. Cotton swab ultimate <laughs> ability to engage. Bath towel bike is not playing anymore, you guys. We are here to kill. The animals have been released. Okay, there is animals. Let's go, bitches. What's up? Owie. Oh, God. I can't see. I'm blinded. Holy shit. It's a lion. Chill, bro. Holy F. No lion help me this time. Not like in the last video where you did not help me at all. Okay, now we gotta take the lions out. Lion, it's time to stop. Get out, little bitch. What's up? Yeet. Nice, there we go. Yeah. What's up? Oh, dude, he got caught on the thing. Ow. He got caught on the spike trap. All right, we got it. There we go, let's claim our reward. Let's get it. I won. Where is your master? Please, you must help, Kose. Oh, God. Wamukota came back and told us what he did. Master Thanos has paid some Roman soldiers, and they all went to get Kose back. Bruh! Ah, that rat. Egidio, you would best find a new master. That's a good idea. All right. I hope I'm not too late. We gotta go save this fool. Yeah, we, we are gonna kill this bastard now. All right. I, I was hoping we would. Let's go do this. Oh, no. He looks like he's surrounded. I probably shouldn't have taken the water route. <laughs> I'm coming, little bitch. What's up? Oh no, I could assassinate that guy too, but I messed up. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'll save you, dog. Let's get him, Kose. What's up? Oh, uh, I missed. Hey, bitch. What's up? Oh shit. Hold on. Yeet. Jabated. Jabated. Yeah, buddy. I won't go back. You will own nothing if you do it. What's up, bitch? Oh, you Roman little suka. <laughs> I'll save you here. I got you. That's him right there too. I'll get him for you, motherfucker. Ah! Finish him with me. Finish him. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fucking smacked across the head with a cotton swab. That's how you do it. You are a free man now, Kose. Our son Bro, his dead body's him. right there. <laughs> oh, a son. Your family is growing. Hey. Yes. And thanks to you, Jose will be here to see it. It's not much, but take this. Hey, I have man. no use for it. Thanks, bud. Farewell, my friend. I hope our paths cross again. Wow, that was a really, really sweet ending to this. Because you thought that guy was the bad guy, but he ended up being a really good guy. Oh, snap! And we got a really cool scepter. Holy shit. Alexandria's light on fire. I love I love scepters that are on fire. There's only one in the game currently. Now there's two. Oh my god. Does everybody get the same one? I wonder. Or is that is that just for me? It's like a special one for me. Dude, that is so cool. Hold on, where's that? Down here. <laughs> Down yonder. Oh hey, wait, wait. There it is. Alexandria's light. I feel like this one's actually from the um the shop, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's check it out though. Wait, that's, that, that's the wrong number. Ooh, look at that. That looks nice. I like that a lot. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. See, Assassin's Creed Origins, those are what they're doing. Like, the people at Assassin's Creed Origins and Ubisoft, they're, they're just super nice. 
not only dropping a bunch of really cool paid DLC that you can buy and season pass owner stuff that you can get, but they're also dropping all this new free stuff that are dropping like weekly with the Trials of the Gods, these quests, and so many new things to keep coming, uh, making you come back to the game after you completed the main storylines and side quests. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously, we're going to be doing the two new DLCs, the big um, story DLCs that will be dropping with the season pass. This next year, January, I think it's the first one, if I'm not wrong. Maybe it's February. I don't actually, 100% sure. And there's another one later on in the year in 2018. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. I will talk to you guys later. And as always, peace out and uh, deuces.